Welcome to episode 204, Jensen Huang, GPU King of the World, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 204. Lesson number one, from peripheral to mainstream technologies. NVIDIA started its building chips for games and entertainment. Since 2012, NVIDIA has now moved into mainstream technologies, cloud computing, AI, deep learning, self-driving cars, virtual reality. Lesson number two, the world's most expensive chip. The Volta Tesla V100 costed $3 billion of R&D to develop. I would like to introduce you to something that has taken several thousand engineers, several thousand engineers, several years to create. It is a masterpiece on many levels. It is the most complex project that has ever been undertaken. Arguably the most expensive computer project the world's ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tesla Volta V100. Um, well, the R&D budget is uh, approximately $3 billion, and this is the first one. So if anyone would like to buy this, it's $3 billion. Lesson number three, go of NVIDIA. To be remembered as one of the most influential tech companies in the world. Remember as Microsoft or Intel. 总裁兼首席执行官黄仁勋先生，那我们现在再来谈谈人生的愿景、企业的愿景。您告诉我们你的愿景是什么？My vision for our company is that we become one of the most influential technology companies in the world, and that that we are able to build and create things that no one else in the world can do, and these things are uh, meaningful to life. Uh, they either make us happier. Um, or m much of the work that we do, uh, advanced research and discovery that could cure people's um, uh, illnesses and save lives, and that someday um, everybody around the world recognizes NVIDIA like they recognize Microsoft and, and Intel and, uh, and recognize us as one of the most influential and important technology companies in the world. Lesson number four, the strategy of NVIDIA. We have a lot of people working on AI. Um, that, that is, that is uh, surely, surely the case. Um, uh, you know, when I think about, when I think about these, the work that we do, they all have one thing in common. Number one, they're all based on GPU computing. We select work that we do, not based on whether we think the market is going to be big or not. And you guys, you guys have, you know, people that have known me for a long time. We've selected the work that we do always based on the three things that I said to this nice gentleman just now. Number one, is the work important to do? Is it hard to do? And it's work that we are uniquely good at doing. We select work to do that is consistent with our core competencies, what we're supposed to be focused on. Lesson number five, the four core competency of NVIDIA. Almost everything that we do is based on GPU computing. And so we, we work on four different areas, as you guys know, gaming, virtual reality, AI data centers, or HPC, and then self-driving cars. We really only do these four things. We don't do anything else. Lesson number six, education is most important. Always a straight A student, always, always did my homework before uh, I went out, um, but I was always, I was always pushing, pushing the boundaries. I would say that, that China even more so, that, that uh, the way that the kids are brought up uh, the way that the society, uh, the things that the society values, education is right up on top. It is the reason why they do almost everything. You know, when I was growing up, it, and my education was the reason for almost every change that my mom and dad ever went through. Every country we went to was related to, somehow, related to my education someday. Lesson number seven, an industry not scalable. I happen to be a bit more enthusiastic about our long-term viability um, because I do believe that this is not an industry that is particularly scalable, meaning that having a thousand engineers is not necessarily uh, the most important thing to have. Having the right engineers, having the right culture, uh, being close to the events, unfortunately, you know, being, being near Silicon Valley, being close to uh, a spirit of innovation, 
I think is rather important. Lesson number eight. Juan is the inventor of GPU. And we've been serving video gamers now for, for uh, you know, coming up on the quarter century. We have 100 gamers around the world that use our platform. And so generations after generations of, of young people that grow up, you know, they know us for something. And so uh, I, I've, I've got all kinds of engineers that grew up using NVIDIA technology and every, every university I go to, they, they know what we do. And then all of a sudden, they, all of a sudden one day, uh, we invented this new computing model called GPU computing. We made it possible to use the world's most successful parallel computing pa platform used for computer graphics uh, to also be used for general purpose computing. Uh, we call it GPGPU. The architecture was called CUDA. We started it about uh, 12 years ago or so. Lesson number nine, believe in what you do. Muhammad Ali is his hero. Muhammad Ali. Wow. wow. He stood up for what he believed in. He did not want to fight the Vietnamese. They took away his ability to box. Um, he didn't want to fight people that did nothing to him. It was not his fight. Uh, he stood up for what he believed in. Uh, he's wonderfully compassionate. Uh, he's incredibly clever and charismatic. You know, here's a man that, that uh, never finished college. He gave the commencement speech at Harvard. And at the very last moment, someone says, Ali, give us a poem. And paused. And he says, me, we. It means us, me, us, we are one. You could, you could think about that poem in a lot of different ways. And yet he thought of it at that moment. And it turns out to be the shortest poem ever written. That's the number 10. Great CEO for bad times, great CEO for good times. Jensen Huang has been CEO of NVIDIA since 1993. You guys know we're, we're a computer graphics company, and we've been around for 24 years. And one of the things that's, that's uh, the beauty and the curse of, of having a great brand and a great reputation for doing something is, is you become known for that. And he led the media through the bad times, 1993 to 1995. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.